your emergency. This is 911. Can I get a thing? I need an ambulance at Smith Rock. Welcome to The Bend, where we explore Bend and Central Oregon. We spend a lot of time outdoors in Bend, and everybody likes to get outside and play, but things don't always go right. This episode is dedicated to Central Oregon Search and Rescue, run by the Deschutes County Sheriff's Office. Each year, Deschutes County Search and Rescue completes 130 missions with over 100 volunteers who donate 33,000 hours to training and rescues. That's about a million dollar workforce dedicated to rescues in Central Oregon. Together in 2019, they completed 32 land searches, 43 land rescues, four water searches, eight body recoveries. The list goes on and on. Search and Rescue, also known as SAR, has 14 teams that cover everything from medical, ground search, mountain rescue, ATB. Hold on, let's let the lieutenant tell you about it. We're very fortunate here in Deschutes County uh, Search and Rescue to have all of the functioning uh, Search and Rescue aspects teams within our own unit. Like the Mountain Rescue Unit, a very robust swift water team that uh, handles uh, a myriad of different types of uh, missions out in our local rivers and waterways. ATV teams, snowmobile teams, tracking teams, air ops team that is uh, training all the time with our, our drones and how they can better assist our, our teams in the field. We also have a high functioning uh, canine team that is out there continually training in avalanche, human remains detection, trailing to try and help locate someone that much faster. These teams work together and alone to protect everyone who enjoys the outdoors in Central Oregon. And people who join Search and Rescue come from everywhere. We have a very diversified group from all different types of professional and working backgrounds. We have uh, younger folks in their 20s and 30s uh, that are here enjoying uh, the outdoor community, uh, thriving in their community, assisting in all facets of search and rescue. We have uh, more seasoned folks that are, are in their 60s. And this is no easy job because guess when most search and rescue calls are made? At night. And that can easily stretch into the daytime for long extended missions. But let's hear a bit more about a personal experience. Bart Brown from The Bend is actually on the search and rescue team. Take it, Bart. I've been living in Bend for 15 years, and about three years ago I decided to join Deschutes County Search and Rescue. The application process for search and rescue is quite rigorous. There's a comprehensive written application, there's an interview process, and a fitness test before you're accepted. The search and rescue application process only takes place once a year. The application opens on November and culminates with the Academy in April. The Academy entails 100 hours of classroom and field work. The classroom work is typically done in the evening after work during the week and the field work is done on the weekends. So you don't really need to miss work to participate in the Academy, but it is time intensive. The Academy culminates with the weekend overnight. During this weekend overnight, you do field training and then you spend the night outdoors with what you have in your 24-hour pack. The idea is to test that you have what you need in your pack to survive the night, no matter what the conditions. In our case, it actually snowed during the night and we woke up with about two inches of snow on our tents. Now, it was a cold night, but we all, we all made it. Once you've completed the academy, you get to choose which groups you want to participate in. I chose snowmobile and ATV and air ops. I was particularly attracted to air ops because I've always been intrigued by helicopters and drones. Air ops, you get to both fly in helicopters around Central Oregon, which is quite a treat. And you also get to fly drones, which is, which is a blast. And I also joined ATV and snowmobile because who doesn't like to ride, you know, great machines that are owned by the Sheriff's Department and supported by the Sheriff's Department and you get to ride around on the snow or in the desert. It's a competitive program, so understand that they're only going to accept 25 out of 80 to 100 applicants, but it's a fantastic organization. The training you receive is unbelievable and you get to give back to the community. I found my time with Search and Rescue to be incredibly rewarding. You're working with a great group of people and nothing feels better than succeeding in finding a subject on a search or helping someone who's injured get out of the field. If you have time and enjoy recreating, you might want to consider volunteering with Search and Rescue. If you're unable to volunteer with Search and Rescue, you might want to consider supporting the foundation. 
The foundation raises money to buy equipment and needed supplies for search and rescue. I will be forever thankful for the heroic efforts of all of you. I am search and rescue. Thank you so much, Dan, Richard, Douglas, Lucas, Sam, Kent, Grant. I am search and rescue. I cannot begin to tell you how grateful I am that Chris is alive because of you. The response to my call was phenomenal. I am search and rescue. Volunteers for finding our three-year-old grandson Merritt last night. The speed and professionalism of your response was incredible and most certainly saved little Merritt's life. I am search and rescue. Dear Ben, search and rescue. Thank you so very, 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 very much for saving dad. I love him so very, very, very much. I was so worried. So next time you're outside playing in Central Oregon, take a moment to think about the members of SAR who are willing to risk their lives so that others may live. They're your neighbors, your doctors, and if you're from out of town, your hosts. If you'd like to see more of what Bend Oregon has to offer, hit like and subscribe. Next up on The Bend, we'll explore backcountry skiing a little deeper, show you how to test the snow for safety, and talk a little more about the gear you need. Thanks for exploring with us.